Let's do an unboxing and a mini review for the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini and also the MX Master 3S mouse. These are the versions that Logitech have recently released and they are designed specifically for Macintosh system. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. For full disclosure, Logitech sent me these for review. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. I have been using every single generation of the Logitech MX Master mouse, starting with the very first one down to the MX Master 3S. And even though this one on the outside looks very similar to the MX Master 3, I can tell you right now that using it on a daily basis, I like the more quieter click that comes in this mouse. Now, as far as the way how it grips in the hand is very similar to MX Master 3 that have come before it. And I've also used other MX keyboard from Logitech as well, and their latest one being the MX Mechanical Full Size. So I have been using these in my daily workflow, and I have an initial review of them. I'll leave those link in the description below for both the mouse and the keyboard so you can check it out. But I'm also going to use this opportunity to give you my long-term review of these keyboard and mouse as well, and some of my thoughts about the different colors and why you may or may not want to choose them. Now, when it comes to these devices for Mac, what it really comes down to is predominantly two different things. You're gonna get a different colorway for the Mac devices. However, everything else is going to be the same. And the only other difference is that on certain keys, for example, the command key and the option key on these devices will have a combo or hybrid key where the command is also the alt for PC or the option is also the start menu for PC. You won't get that anymore. You will have Mac specific key for these devices. Nonetheless, if you want to take this and pair with a Bolt dongle and use it on a PC, well, nobody's really stopping you from doing that. So you can certainly do that as well. And I'm also going to share with you one more thought as well, why you may want to consider, for instance, getting a MX Mechanical Mini for Mac. However, getting the MX Master 3S, the hybrid version for both Mac and PC, because what it comes down to with the mouse, there is really no difference between the two. And there's one reason why you may want to consider getting the hybrid version of mouse. But for now, let's unbox this and talk about the colorway and some of the options a little bit more. So MX Mechanical Mini for Mac, let's cut this open. This comes in two different colors. So the one that I have here, this is the pale gray version. There's also another version called Space Gray. And I think it looks very similar to the gray version that I have received before. And if you have the mechanical keyboard, both the full size and also the mini version for the hybrid platform for both Mac and PC, these obviously come in one color only. So if you want something a little bit lighter in pale gray, well, you have to get the Mac version. So the packaging is a little bit different, I think. I can't remember. It's been a while since I unboxed this, but we have the instructions on how to pair this with the Mac. I'm going to pull this open and it's wrapped always very nicely. Pull the keyboard out. There is a little card from Logitech and there is the MX setup logitech.com. Let's see if there's anything in this box. So what you get is a little instruction manual on the inside, some warranty card, and also a USB-C to USB-C type charger. So that is one of the big change from the hybrid version where it's still USB-C on one end and on the other end is a USB type A. So with the Mac version, you get a C to C, which is quite neat. All right, that's pretty much just the device. I'll put this back. And let's talk a little bit about this keyboard. The one thing to note about this MX Mechanical Mini for Mac is that you only have one key option and that is the brown tactile quiet. Whereas if you look at the hybrid version in both the full size and the mini, there are three different key options. Brown tactile quiet, red linear, and also blue clicky key. Although I don't recommend using the blue one because it can be really loud, but if you want to go that route, you have to go with the hybrid version. As I mentioned before, some of the keys are slightly different. So for instance, the command key is no longer shared with the alt and also the option key is no longer shared with the start and it just says options. So those would be the primary differences between those two. Now, when it comes to the color itself, this is the pale gray version and you still have the true tone. So the slightly darker gray and the white key. 
Now, one of the things I'll tell you right now is that these white key will probably show some of the stain over time as you're using them. However, this being harder key, I would probably say that if you have a alcohol wipe or something like that, that you wipe it out, all those stains should mostly go away without any problems whatsoever. So that's just something to think about this. It has, again, a USB type C right there. It has a power button. And on the bottom, you have these little kickstand that you can bump it up. Otherwise, it's very similar to the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini that have come before it in all of the regards, including all the custom function key at the very top as well. However, one of the things that is different is that this corner key, rather than being a delete key, so let's compare those two right now. What you get instead is the sleep key, which I am going to put this to the test and really try this out to see what I think about it, but that adds some functionality. You can quickly switch between three devices that you have done before. So those are very similar to what you have in the previous generation. Now, the keyboard is going to last for quite some time. What I can tell you right now is that in my daily usage of this keyboard, the full size one with the light on as well, when I approach the keyboard and everything, pretty much it comes down to, I would probably say I charge it like about every three to four weeks or so. And this is on a daily usage basis. So pretty much the keyboard is doing a really good job conserving the batteries and everything, turning off the LED when you're not really using it, and then turning on when you approach the device. A lot of customization that you have with the MX Mechanical Mini, the hybrid version, and also the full size are going to be available in this MX Mechanical Mini for Mac as well because Logitech Option Software is something that you can download and customize this keyboard further. Now, one thing that I also want you to note as well is that when you get the Mac version, they are relying that you are going to connect these keyboard and mouse using the Bluetooth on your Mac computer. So the Bolt dongle, even though it is compatible with it, or the one that I have in my hand right now, this is something that is not included with the Mac version. And this leads me to my next conclusion that I'm going to offer you or a next thought that if you like this colorway, I recommend getting the Logitech MX Master Mini for Mac. However, when it comes to mouse, I recommend getting the hybrid version because the hybrid version of this will come with a bolt dongle and it will allow you to use the bolt dongle with your Mac as well. So you don't have to buy an extra dongle accessory. But now let's unbox the MX Master 3S for Mac. And when it comes to the mouse itself, there's really no difference between the Mac and the hybrid version. The only thing that you get that I think is slightly different is again, the colorway. But I don't think it's really that big of a deal that if you're looking to get something like this, I would probably maybe just go with the hybrid version to start out with because you also get the bolt dongle as well. And realistically, the bolt dongle will pair with up to six devices. So you just only really need one. All right, so pulling that out of the box, we're going to open this up and I have done this upside down. Okay, there we go. So inside the box itself, there's not much. There is just this mouse and there are instructions on how to get the mouse going to use in your work. I'll pull that off. And again, the cables that you get in the box, there's a little card, the warranty card, some instructions on how to pull this out, replace the battery, or just throw away the battery when you're about to recycle the mouse. And also you get a USB-C to USB-C cable instead of a USB-C to USB-A. So that's one of the improvement that I have commented on my initial video. Now, this MX Master 3S for Mac comes in two different colors. There is the space gray and there's also the pale gray version. I requested that they sent me the space gray version because what I want to do is test this out on a daily basis and see how does it stain or if it doesn't stain at all. Most of the time, you're not going to see the stain on this mouse. And this is my pale gray version from the hybrid series. This is the MX Master 3S as well. And you can see that there are some discoloration that happens in the rubber. This has been cleaned with alcohol already, but it does require a little bit more maintenance. So if you want something that you can use and really just forget about it, I would recommend going with the space gray version, which still have the quiet click and everything else. Now I'm not going to go too much deeper into these mouse. I'll leave you a link to my first review video that I did for the MX mechanical and the mouse, and you can check that video out. But if you're going to get these devices, I highly recommend that you also download Logitech Option Plus and customize the usability for these devices as well. Now, this will also, again, pair with Bluetooth and it will also work with a bolt dongle, although 
you see right now, there's no bolt dongle that is included. So my recommendation would be to get this keyboard, especially if you like this color. Now this also comes in another color as well. And I think I might have mentioned that already, which is the space gray version that looks very similar to that. But again, both of these will work without any problem. This will pair to a Mac, this will pair to a Mac. So it's not gonna be any issue whatsoever. But when it comes to the mouse, I recommend getting the hybrid version. This way you get the Bolt dongle and you can pair everything to the Bolt. And it's a little bit better than using the Bluetooth on the Mac because sometimes the Bluetooth on the Mac is hidden behind antennas or behind the aluminum enclosure. And the only place where the Bluetooth antenna can be housed is pretty much in the Apple logo or on the hinge of a laptop. And many times those block signals and everything. So. I have a much better experience with um, just usability and no lag using the Bolt dongle that comes with these devices. So that is my thought about this. But so far in opening these up, I think this is really cool. And I think this color combination that I have right now is something that will work well as well. A few more thoughts about the mouse and keyboard to wrap things up is that you still pretty much get the quiet key from the MX Master 3S the MagSafe scroll wheel, and you also have the new 8K sensor. And their sensor in the MX Master Series mouse has already been fantastic. They just really, you know, took it up a few notches on this one. And this is really an overkill mouse for a pro workflow, but I absolutely love it. Now the keyboard itself, you have this aluminum plate right there that you can see that is the silver shiny thing. You have the white on the top versus just the dark gray in the regular version on the bottom. Again, very similar to each other. And one more thing I want to mention about the keyboard and mouse as well is that even though they both have a USB Type-C connection on the keyboard there and on the mouse at the very top there, this is really used for charging only. If you want to pair this to your Mac, you can't use this USB-C to USB cable to plug into your Mac because it will only charge it. It doesn't do the automatic pairing like Apple Keyboard. So in order for you to use this with your computer, you need to use either the Bolt dongle. If you get the hybrid version, it comes with that. You can purchase the Bolt dongle separately, or what you can also do as well is pair this using a Bluetooth on your Mac. And there is no way to use these keyboard and mouse as a wired device. This is also something that I covered in my previous review video for these mouse and keyboard as well. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments or any additional thoughts on this, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe, and hit on the bell if you're new. And in Art Refresh. So I'm really happy that they sent me these revi revised device. I can't say device. It's like a bad word or something. Beep beep. So yeah, doing my own uh, cut now for jokes.